So there's many different ablation technologies for cancer. In the older days, we were mainly limited to radio frequency ablation, which was basically placing a needle into the tumor. Radio waves were sent into that needle. They heat up the tumor and cause the tumor to die by heating. Then also there was cryoablation, which is also placing a needle into the tumor and freezing it. And one of the things, of course, in my earlier days of radio frequency ablation and in cryo, that sometimes we saw patients where they had multiple lesions and we were gonna treat them in different stages and I would treat one area and the other lesions would go away before I even had a chance to treat them. Patients weren't on any therapy. So we knew that ablation had the ability to create an immune response. However, it's very limited. And so we were really looking at how can you enhance that? What are the things? And so, you know, one interesting area is that when cancer is advanced and you do ablation, you actually do partial ablations. You don't try to ablate the tumor. If you start killing lots of tumor, I think all of those pieces of the tumor seen by the immune system become suppressive uh, and the immune system kind of shuts down. The other is if you start damaging a lot of normal tissue. So typically when ablation is done is they treat a tumor and they get a margin of normal tissue around it, kind of like if you're doing surgery. But with ablation for advanced disease, that killing normal tumor can confuse the immune system seeing dead normal tissue. You're also going to get a release of certain factors like TGF beta and VEGF, which are immune suppressive. And we know that actually if we block VEGF and we block TGF beta with combination of ablation that we can significantly enhance the immune response and then of course that leads into you know newer things now uh, of course we've got you know intratumoral immunotherapy so combinations of immunotherapy injected into the tumor and can be injected at the time of ablation and then now of course we have pulsed electrical field which is a new technology they don't really want to consider it an ablative technology but still it sends an electrical pulse into the tumor killing the cancer but leaving it very intact and it's more immune stimulating than the other technologies and so when you combine that with immunotherapy which is certainly the way that it should be done you know these things should be done with immunotherapy you know they function at the ablation functions as an additional immunotherapy and now with all of these agents, you get a much more powerful tool, much more synergy between those. And so that's, that's what we're seeing where, you know, these ablative technologies, particularly now with the pulsed electrical field, combined with numerous combinations of immunotherapy, that you can get immune responses in cancers that normally don't respond, pancreatic cancer, colorectal cancers. These are things that typically they didn't respond, but now with all these combinations, we're seeing responses. And so very exciting time in cancer time of immunotherapy is rapidly advancing the ablation technologies as well so um, certainly the cure has never been closer